Okay, guys, welcome to my channel. I am Darlington Oksinachi, and I will be introducing you to the Radwin 2000 Alpha Integrated that comes with the 50 Mbps capacity. Okay, in case you're wondering, this is the Radwin 2000 Alpha Integrated that offers 50 Mbps of the capacity to each customer. Okay, so I'll be walking you through the basic configurations and um, the commissioning. And I would like you guys to stay tuned and follow me as I go ahead. Okay, I already have two radios um, currently plugged in and I will just go ahead and start the configuration. Make sure that you have the routing manager on your computer. And if you don't have it, try and ask your nearest routing partner in your area and they will provide it for you. And of course, you can also use the web browser. That's also, I'll be teaching you guys how to go about it. So first, I will like to continue with the configuration now. Okay, so already I have the Radwin Manager and I have my command from here. And I will try to ping the address. The default address is 10 10.0.0.120 that is Radwin default address and boom okay that is replying now this is replying because on my network network settings I have already pre-configured my network card for the IP address, okay, 10.10.0.0.222.255.255.255.0, okay, so always make sure you configure your network card, if not, you will not have a communication between you and the radio. I'll go ahead and launch my Radwin Manager. Okay, fine. The password is no cap locks wireless. You click OK. But before then, check the option to be sure that you're using the latest and that you're using the right SM, SNMP version. Okay. Good. Now, this is how it will appear once you have launched your Radwin Manager for the first time. Okay. And just for, for the fun, I would like to do a continuous ping so that I will know when I lose connection from my device. So, you come to configure a pop up menu with all the necessary configurations will come out. Okay, uh, consider that this is a this is where you put the name of the device and you can use oh person like I said my name is Darlington. Uh, location, answer. well, anywhere. Okay, so, air interface. Now, you have to make sure that the link ID tallies with whatever you are configuring at the remote. And I will be configuring this particular device to be the HPS. So, let's say, this is um,
mind you every action is there do not forget to apply i will be leaving this ip address as a default um, just so you know i have changed the ip address of the second radio and that is the only thing i have done at the management so you don't have to be afraid or that you, you don't know what to do okay so i will go ahead and change this radio to base station okay Good. So, once you do that, if you notice here, um, my command prompt is timing out. That is because I have initiated a new feature. I have informed the radio that I want this device to serve as a base station. So, and this will likely take about two to three minutes. And I will pause this video and wait for it to come, then we'll continue. Good, we're back. So, radio is back. We come to tools. Nothing. Wait until the radio recognizes. You see, device unreachable. Good. So, you take a note, you notice. This um, has changed to RTAHBS. Okay. Activate. Next. Remember our link. Next, like I said, I'll be leaving the IP address. Okay, the activation wizard will also take you to the creating channels where you can select multiple channel frequencies according to what you have in your locality. So make sure you do not um, violate regulation and stick to what the um, service providers are using. But for the purpose of this test, I'm going to leave it and I'll go ahead with the next. And activate. Okay, so great. Now I have my radio fully configured. You come to link configuration to preview your frequency and channel configuration. When you go to advance, you don't need any information there. So, preview your configurations before you proceed. Here, if possible, you take a screen capture. Here, I have Radwin Lane, um, contact person is person, um, location anywhere. And make sure that you remember your link ID. Okay? Your link ID is very important. Here, you can see the link ID, and the link ID is radwin rad w0001 here you can also see current information the frequency you're currently transmitting at the band that you're working out the bandwidth and you can also see your tx ratio this has to do with the amount of capacity you're currently using on the radio so i will in like manner I'm going to log off now from this radio and log in to the second device that I want to serve as the HSU. Before now, like I said earlier, I have already changed the IP address. 
to 10.0.0.128. So I will be logging in now via same. Remember the password is wireless. And you click OK. Great. So this is the second device that appears basically like the first one before we converted it to HPS. Okay. So you don't really need to change anything here except for the link ID. So you go the name. Okay, I said you don't need to change anything. Boom, the link is up. So you register. And we are good to go. Check your link configurations to make sure that you are on the same page. Okay. So, one way you can also, another way you can also log into these um, devices are through whichever favorite browser you're using. I will go ahead and be using the Mozilla, the Firefox Mozilla. Okay, so, 10 dot zero dot zero dot one. T8. I will like to login. And also log in to 10.0.0.120. Okay, this is the new Radwin um, interface. So um, the username is admin and the password is net wireless. You can if you, if you really want to save the password on your PC, however, I already have this password, so good. Let me learn. So we can try again. Let's wireless. No. So this is basically how you configure the Radwin point to points, Radwin 2000 Alpha, and you commission. Okay. You can either connect through the browser or the Radwin manager. Okay.